Some parents are turned to a controversial practice when their dream of adoption turns into a nightmare. It's called rehoming. Adoptive parents scour the internet to find a new place for their child to call home. CBS North Carolina's David Hurst is here now with one family story. David? Well, it's legal in our state to rehome. All you need is a simple notarized document. But lawmakers are now racing to stop it, arguing rehoming makes children easy prey for pedophiles. But one adoptive parent claims the controversial practice is the only thing that can keep her family safe. It would take more than love to heal. He needs an act of God. For Lisa, that's been the reality with her adopted son the past seven years. She did not want us to use her last name, but she and her husband have adopted five children, so they understand the challenges children can face being placed in a new home. But they were nowhere near ready for some of the challenges their most recent adoption posed. He has caused damage to some of us in the home that could take years to repair. They adopted the son we'll call Adam when he was 11. The adoption service told Lisa he had no psychological issues, but early on, it was clear this was not the case. His behaviors were significant enough that I've had several people tell me I should have pressed charges and put him in jail. Lisa says Adam would hear voices that told him to hurt and kill people, and he threatened to kill her twice. Lisa tells us he also touched her inappropriately, and he spent a year in treatment at a center for sexually aggressive young people. And he cannot come home. We can't take that chance, and we have to protect our other kids. Lisa says she's trying to place her child in a new home, an environment that she trusts and where he can progress. However, lawmakers here are working on a bill that would criminalize the act of rehoming. You can't just pass a child off to someone you don't know. State Senator Tamara Beringer co-wrote Senate Bill 652 after hearing stories of children with severe behavioral problems and parents taking desperate actions. There are stories where desperate parents have gone on the Internet on Facebook, on other chat lines, and, and told their story about how desperate they were. And this is a perfect opportunity for people who, pedophiles and others who, are, who do not have good intentions, to take advantage of people in desperate situations. Beringer says there are cases where children have been sexually or physically abused in their new home. The new law would require a court order to transfer custody to anyone who is not a close relative. I didn't know that people would get so desperate as to uh, hand their children off at a rest stop at I-85 uh, to people they think are good people, but they don't know who they are really. She claims the bill would make it easier to get help before and after the adoption. She says the lack of these resources leads to desperation. Mother's Day. It's support Lisa says her family never received, and now she's stuck. An adoption attorney tells us if she allows Adam to come home, she could be charged with endangering her other children. The lawyer also says it's possible if she does not let him come home, she could be charged with child abandonment. We need an out. We do not need to be punished. We have paid a terribly high price loving on these children and hoping for a miracle. Lisa hopes the bill can be rewritten to protect families in their situation. And while she and lawmakers may differ on the approach, they both want to get families the support they need and make sure children are in the best hands. In the long run, if we can keep that family together, if we can keep that family happy, and if we can keep a child out of the hands of a, of a despicable person, it, it, it will be a good investment. We've got to protect everyone, them and him. And we need to take that child and put him somewhere where everyone will be safe. Now, lawmakers tell me they expect to take up the issue in the upcoming legislative session. North Carolina would join five other states that have banned the act of rehoming. Meanwhile, Adam is in another treatment facility, and he's expected to return home in just a couple months. Very eye-opening. David, this is happening more often than we're realizing. Through your investigation, how many times are we finding this, the rehoming's happening? Well, Sharon, we found out very little about how often this is happening and kind of the prevalence of it. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no agency at the state or federal level that keeps statistics about exactly how often this happens. And yeah. they mentioned too, the fear is these children will go into the homes of pedophiles. Uh, do they have any specific instances of, of where they can trace that as well? Well, as you can imagine, it's, it's, it is rare, but there have been situations in the past documented where they have gone into these homes and have either been either physically or sexually abused. Yeah. Terrible story. All right. You can see the story again online at WNCN.com. David, thank you.